Hey guys, welcome back. I am Andrew Murray from uh, Fire of Phoenix. I love saying that. <laughs> and this is the second episode of my Sonic Adventure DX walkthrough. Now, from the last episode, we uh, met Tails. What the hell? Oh, crap. And he had a Chaos Emerald, which Eggman over there wants to steal. And we're not going to let him do that. Oh my god! Now, we're up against the Egg Hornet. He's honestly not that hard, but I just have, like, not played this game in a long time, so I do not remember, like, all these attacks. And he he's coming in fast on me. So you, you, you need to just do a homing attack, which is just jumping and pressing A. As a like, you gotta jump and then press A to do a homing attack. And just uh, avoid these missiles. It... It's a good idea, uh, let, let me tell you, because it'll keep those good 15 rings. Come at me, come at me, bro. I'm gonna attack you right now and kill you. That's right. You go explode, man. You go, girl. You go. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. My time was 11, 11, 11. That, that's funny, because I, uh... Actually, have off from school on 11 11 11, which is Veterans Day. And that's in two weeks, actually. I'm, I'm pretty psyched about that. So, Eggman's gonna like look, look like he's raping somebody, actually. Well, that wasn't so, hard. <laughs> so, Tails oh, no! is extremely stupid and he runs with the Chaos Emerald. When I first did, when I first beat him, I'm like, Tails, what the hell are you doing? So he says, time to eat chaos. And chaos is that big blob right there. And he becomes a different creature every time. He, he changes form every time he has a chaos emerald. So like right now. Yes, as I have described, Eggman. He already works for you, Eggman. You created him. Every game, Eggman plans on making a Robotnik land. I think the only time that you get to play on Robotnik land is on Sonic Unleashed. And Sonic, that, that was a pretty fun game. I mean, I haven't played it since, like, maybe 7th grade. That was three years ago. I, I think that's when Sonic Unleashed came out. I mean, don't, don't judge me on that. So, yeah, we need to... I, I took a while to understand what to do now. But, actually, what you need to do is... You see that stone right there, that green stone? You need to pick it up, I press... What? God, I can't even remember how you pick things up. Excuse me a sec. Controls. Action. So I gotta press X. There we go. There we go. Yeah, buddy. I'm just gonna jump. Suicide! Oh man, darn! I, I thought that was, I thought that was, was going to be suicide. So you, you got you got to run with this stone, the wind stone, and there is a location here. I do not remember where it is, and you need to bring the uh, what do you call it? The um, wind stone. Oh, here it is, right here. So you gotta place it right here. The key is floating. So now, the wind turbulence is going to get extremely high, and we're going to fly. So now we're in stage two, Windy Valley. Now pretty much all we need to do is just get to the Chaos Emerald. I 
honestly hate this level. So I'm just gonna take a quick short cut here. Oh, what do you know? I got a magnetic barrier. That was sure nice of them. What is this? Oh, well, I am gonna be afraid. Because I, I, I'm scared of heights. What's up here? 40 rings! That is a good deal. Great deal, I tell you. What the? Oh, shoot. I now see why they call this Windy Valley. So I just got a new another life. Jump on panel number one. So yeah, I, we need to get out of this tornado. He has to call you. Explain this to us before. Come on, Sonic, jump! Jump like your life depends on it. You're on a freaking tornado. So, there's like this random bird. There's actually uh, something that I can do later on in the game, and it's pretty awesome. Where uh, you see cream, and it is pretty entertaining. Like, you just see her flying around with her chow cheese. And it is just so funny. Now you see that Tails is following us. He usually does that. And what the hell? Ooh, a rocket. The, and Tails, he sir like he has pretty much the same missions as we do with Sonic. Except on these kinds of missions, he needs to beat Sonic in a race. <clears throat> Which is actually pretty easy. I mean it doesn't take that much effort. Gotta kill that lizard. I think I killed it. I'm not sure if I did. Oh yeah, we got another. What the hell? Oh snap! Gotta hit that spring. I would be vomiting right now due to how scared I am of heights. Seriously, we must be, like, higher above that world, you... I don't... The world of Bioshock 2. I, I mean, I don't... I've never played Bioshock 2 before. I, I don't have too much... I don't have that much money. But... <laughs> my friend keeps showing me... Well, it's a... I don't think it's Bioshock 2. It's a certain Bioshock where you play in the air... And, like, we must be higher than that location. <laughs> Me and my elaborating skills. We're gonna get another huge ass score. See, all those rings go into yeah, not good. Bad. They're going to goodness. You still got that barrier. Now, these emblems you're actually going to want to keep. Like, these emblems, I'm not sure what they do, but. You want to collect as much as you can. So, looks like I need to go back to Station Square. I think this is where I meet Amy. I'm not sure. Now. Oh, gee. Thanks for that to call. That, that means Jack to me. Now, if you see that flying orb around, that's pretty much. That's to call, as I've said in the last episode. And you can, like, if you touch the orb, she'll give you a hint as to what to do, as to what you have to do next. So, here we are in Station Square. It is almost nighttime. And, I, wh where am I going? Gotta turn that camera.
jump. There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Oh, that's lovely. We gotta go into a sewer. Now, if you play as E102 Gamma, he actually uh, does this really cool thing where he uh, brings his legs up to his upper part of the body and a propeller comes out of his ass. <laughs> and he just floats above the water because he's not supposed to swim. So yeah, we gotta go to the... We gotta go to this part of Station Square. And I believe we're in for a very... What the? Oh. Crap, someone's trying to run over me. And you see this? We gotta go down here. Here we are in for a very nice treat. Jump. We have successfully gotten the uh, light speed shoes. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. So we get to practice with the uh, um, light speed shoes right now. And this is the, uh, the thing in station, in the thing, the, I don't remember what it's called. I don't even remember what I'm talking about. There's a secret, um, item that I've never been able to get in, uh, the, um, in this game, where I need to do a light speed dash, but I never have enough time. I've always tried to do, to do it with Tails, because I didn't know that you had to do a light speed dash. It's kind of sad. Hey, hey, what, what, what are you jumping? What, why are you covering your head on just a little hedgehog? You can go to the casino area at night. Oh, goody, the casino area. That is right here, I believe. Now, in the casino, you, uh actually, um, do not fight any enemies. What you need to do is you need to get a certain amount of rings, and it's pretty fun to do, actually. Now, we need to use our good old trusty lightspeed shoes right here. So there's my good old trailer rings. And there's a button up there on the casino sign that brings you into the casino. Now, we just need to get a Chaos Emerald, and I'm going to actually leave that there, so I'll try and update soon, okay? Talk to you later, guys.